Severe weather in Sampson County caused a partial roof collapse. CBS 17's Kayla Strayer is live at Union Intermediate School. And Kayla, it happened at the gym there. Yeah, so this is what I'm hearing from school officials here tonight, that it is a miracle that no one was very seriously injured, no students. There were three minor injuries that were being told of students. They were in gym class, but I'm going to give you a look at just some of the damage right now. We actually just saw firefighters also working on the roof to assess the damage, but this building here, all this brick that was torn off by the storm, this was their gym. About 20 students were inside that gym having gym class when all of a sudden debris just started flying in. The school spokesperson telling us that they had no warning they everyone was just so caught off guard and surprised by this um, so they were just having like typical gym class again about 20 students here at Union Intermediate School in Sampson County and we also got some video a look at the damage to the front of the school a tree down there's debris everywhere near the front pretty extensive damage out here in Sampson County take a listen to what the school spokesperson is telling us tonight we're, we're student centered and what a blessing it is that our that only three students were injured and that those three students are going to be okay we can fix this building but students are our priority and, and we're very blessed that they're okay Yeah, and she did just tell me that school has been canceled for tomorrow as officials work to continue assessing the damage. We're told parents have already picked up their children. This all happened around 2 this afternoon. It is still raining here in Sampson County. There's still emergency crews, firefighters on scene here. Again, three students have minor injuries after the storm rolled through and caused all this damage here in Sampson County. We'll continue giving you live updates throughout the evening. For now, reporting live in Sampson County, Kayla Strayer, CBS 17 News.